Well, hello everyone. My name is Ian, and this is the Econobox Garage. Thanks for joining me. In this week's episode of our Bug Eye Build, we'll be assessing what I need to do on the bonnet, or the hood. I'll be having a look at some previous repair attempts, and just figuring out some next steps. I'll also be giving you a rough idea on how I figure out which parts I need. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. When I first acquired my car, it was already disassembled and things were somewhat organized, but I've gone and organized this a bit further as you'll have seen in a previous video. But what I thought I'd show you is one of my methods for figuring out what parts I need to get. So I'm dealing with the lights for the car, other than the headlights, and what I've done is I've just printed off the, one of the Moss catalogs, I think it was Moss, of all the lighting components, and then I'm going to compare those to what I have um, on hand. So here are the two um, main tail lights. When I first go started going through these, I noticed both of the tail lights were covered with this uh, tape residue, and I've cleaned this one off already, and I had that in an earlier video. I'll put a link to that video up above so you can check that out later. So those are the two main ones. Each of them has a rubber gasket like that. It's, now those are going to need to be replaced. So what I'll do is I'll just go over to my list here and I'll put a circle around the one that I need. I've checked off that I have the backing plate for both of them. So I have the backing plate for both, uh, but I will replace... Actually, that one doesn't look too bad. But I'll probably just replace both those gaskets here. Uh, the plates themselves are in good shape and will clean up. And on further exam, I may just replace one. So uh, the lenses are good. I just need to clean this one up to match the other one. The base plates are good. I'll keep the one gasket. Just order one of those and then both of the, the main gaskets. So I'll just mark those off. I'll put that only one, and um, and I'll double check whether I have the screws or not. Uh, I may have them in the box here with all the other bits and pieces. So that's for the, that's for the main lights. Well, here's another of the lights that goes on the back. This is the number plate light. When I got the car, the actual cover. Let's just take this off was actually painted black and I'm in the process of just uh, sanding all that the old paint off to get back to the uh, shiny metal finish so that's a work in progress the lens itself is in really good shape that's the original glass one and I believe this is an upgrade uh, with the two bulbs in it because I do have a similar piece that looks much older set up for just a single bulb so I will continue to use uh, this one here. Um, that's firmly attached to the plinth, which is also, I believe, the correct one. And this shows you the color that the car was originally painted before the previous owner started stripping that paint. So in this one here, the gasket here is in good shape, but the piece that goes between the plinth and the body itself uh, leaves a lot to be desired, so that will be ordered as well. So I'll just pop that back together, and we'll set that one aside. That's one that I didn't have marked on here, but I'll, I'll just make a note of that a bit later. So that leaves the um, indicator lights for the front and the back. Now I'm going to have to sort through this as uh, there's some differences between uh, some of the things I've got. I have one, I have one with a broken terminal, one with a single terminal or that and then I have three of these with with doubles so I'll have to double check to make sure which one goes where I will replace all of the rubber and I'll just use the best of uh, of what I've got and replace it what I need to do obviously I'll need to replace that one because it's actually broken and also I'll definitely be replacing all of the um, the lenses that that one regardless of the colors, uh, that one's been glued together 
This one's got a hole in it. Uh, this one is a, these two are the same shape, but different colors. These two are the same shape. Again, that one's broken. And I think that one's got a crack in it as well. The other thing I will be purchasing, and I, because I don't have, is there's actually a chrome ring that secures the lens to the rubber base. So I'll need to pick up four of those for those lights. So that's where I am with the, the lights. I know it's quite a ways down the road for getting these installed on the car, uh, but I'd like to have everything on hand for when the time comes so I'm not in a mad scramble. So there you have it. That's how I kind of figure out what I need for parts. Um, I'll have to do a bit more research for what I need for the uh, indicator lights, and then we'll go from there. In the previous video, I got the seat frames installed in the car and just threw the, uh, the foam in uh, just to have a quick look what it might look like when we're done. So next up is uh, getting to work on the bonnet. Now you may have noticed in previous in earlier videos I had the the bonnet standing up on this bottom edge and uh, so I just flipped cleaned the table off and flipped it over and just to assess where we are. Now I did uh, start doing some work uh, quite a long time ago but it was before I knew about using copper to back it up and at the time I was doing this I didn't realize that my welder was out of gas so I'm gonna to have to reconstruct or repair this whole area here there's a split in the edge here that can just get welded up I did do some work on this earlier but I'm gonna change all this color on the other lip of the fender there's another spot here that will have to be repaired and welded up but other than that and, and a few little dings here and there the bonnet's in really good shape and then you can see this piece across here will need to be straightened out as well so that's where we are with the the bonnet and i'll be working on that over the next little while here so one of the bigger changes i'm going to make on the car from original is I'm going to change from rear hinged, uh, which is where these the hinges would mount here and there. I'm going to change it to a front hinged. Uh, so I still have a bit of research to do on that. So I'll need to determine what I have to modify on the front part here to make that all work. And to go along with that, it's also been suggested in a couple of places to run a bit of steel reinforcing around the perimeter of the wheel arch on each side to help stiffen things up. But that's for a later date, and that's all I have time for for this week. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you'll get notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.